Hello there, Cardinals. It's me, Mr. Ernst, and in this video, we are going to be learning about how to find the y, whoopsie, the y-intercept from a table. So last time we did it from a graph. In fact, this little graphic image is uh, from the last video. And the reason is I want to kind of talk about something, a pattern that was occurring here that we didn't talk about in the last video. So we're going to find y-intercept from a table. So first of all, let me get rid of all this nonsense over here. And what I want to focus on instead is the actual points of the y-intercept. Remember, each one of these lines crossed our y-axis, and where it crossed the y-axis was where each of these lines had their y-intercept. So our first one is 0 and 4. So the y-intercept for the purple line is 0, 4. The y-intercept for the black line is 0, 1. And the y-intercept for the red line is going to be 0, comma, negative 3. And these are all three very different lines, but they all have one thing in common in their y-intercepts. Do you see the pattern? They always have where x is equal to 0. And funny thing about that, funny thing about... Woo, whoop, where x is always equal to 0. And that's how exactly how we're going to end up finding our y-intercept on a table, because the y-intercept can always be found where x, where x is equal to 0, okay? So let's take a look at our first example next here. Here's our first table. Remember, we are looking for where the y, where x is equal to 0. That's where we're going to find our y-intercept, okay? So I've got a nice little easy table here. The x value is growing by 1 each time. The y value is growing by 2 each time. I'm going to look where my x value is equal to 0, which is right here. So my y-intercept is right here. And it's as easy as that. y-intercept is at 0, 2, or b is equal to 2. Ta -da! There's our y-intercept. Next example. Once again, we are simply looking at our x values. Where is x equal to 0? x value and right here. x is equal to 0 here. So our b, our b value is equal to, in this case, it would be 7. Our y-intercept for this table would be 7. Again, it is as simple as that. We're just looking at x is equal to 0. Okay? Next example. Whoops. Wait a second. Okay. And next example. Right? Yes. Next example. <laughs> As I say that 18 million times for you guys. So, looking at this example here, this is just a much bigger table. But just because it's a bigger table doesn't change our process at all. Where is x equal to 0? We're going to look at all of our x values and find, up oh, there it's equal to 0. There is my x-intercept, or my y-intercept, excuse me. My y-intercept, my b is equal to 85. Cool? So don't let the numbers scare you. Don't let how many different x values there are. Every time we're looking at where x is equal to 0. Cool? Next example. This one's a little bit more tricky, uh, because if you look for where x is equal to 0, we don't have a 0 over here. But it is still possible to find where x is equal to 0. We just kind of have to follow the patterns to uncover it ourselves, okay? So we need x to reach 0. So I'm looking at my pattern here, and it's going down, which is good. That means we're approaching 0. We just have to follow this pattern down. So from 12 to 9, my x value went down by 3. From 9 to 6, it again went down by 3, which means my pattern for my x value is going to continue like that. I'm going to say minus 3 again. So we have 12, 9, 6. My next value, 6 minus 3, is going to be 3. I'm not at 0 yet, so i got to do it one more time. Again, my pattern is subtracting 3. 3 minus 3 gives me 0. Nice. So here is where my x or my y-intercept is going to be. We just got to find out what the y is by following this pattern as well. So once again, from 4 to 7, the pattern is adding 3. From 7 to 10, we have added 3. 
We gotta continue this pattern, add three, add three, add three. 10 plus three is going to give me 13. And then we've got one more, 13 plus three is going to give me 16. And there, again, where x is equal to zero, there is my y-intercept. So my y-intercept, my b, is equal to 16. Oh. So that's how you can, uh, you can find it, even if the table doesn't actually list it. You kind of just continue the pattern. You continue the pattern on the x side and on the y side until you get x is equal to zero, and that tells you where the y-intercept is, okay? Last example. Very similar as before. Once again, we do not have an x value where x is equal to zero. We don't have that yet, but we can find it. We still need to find where x is equal to zero. This time, however, instead of shrinking, this time it's actually growing. So instead of following the pattern down this way, we actually have to follow the pattern this way to get to zero. Because if we go this way, it's going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We're never going to get to zero. It's just going to keep growing. So we got to go this way this time. So once again, from 4 to 3, oops, let me do this in my proper colors. From 4 to 3, we are subtracting 1. From 3 to 2, we are subtracting 1. From 2 to the next value would be subtracting 1. So it's going to be 2 minus 1 gives me 1. I'm kind of just going around this x because it's kind of getting in my way here. And we got to go one more time. Minus 1. 1 minus 1 gives me 0. Cool? That's where my y-intercept's going to be. So now i got to find the y that matches this pair. So once again, following this pattern on my right-hand side from 20 to 15, we are minusing 5. From 15 to 10, subtract 5. And we're going to continue this pattern. Once again, subtracting 5. So 10 minus 5 to here gives me 5. Ooh, 5, there we go. And then the last one, I need to subtract 5 one more time. Ooh, that's an ugly arrow. One more time. Minus 5. <laughs> Very particular about how my arrows look. Um, once again, 5 minus 5 gives me 0. So this y-intercept is actually going to be, uh, once again, where x is equal to 0. Ta 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 yep. Where x is equal to 0, which is right here, so it's going to be this pair. So that tells me that my y value, my y-intercept, my y-intercept is equal to zero. Okay? All right, and that is how you find y-intercept from a table, even when the table doesn't want to give it to you, okay? Thank you guys very much for watching.